All right. So the last Hail Mary pass on this one is an FTP server, right? So if you're here, all right, sudo apt-get install ftpd, all right, FTP daemon. This is the last Hail Mary pass. If you're moving software around between Windows and all the rest of it, Install FTPD, go ahead, do its thing. Your network adapter has to be bridged. All right. And it will go ahead and install the FTP server for you. All right. Any FTP client is going to work here. I tend to use FileZilla a lot, right? And that's just me. This is in no way an endorsement. It's not really, all right? All right. So, but once you've got that going, how do I check to see if it's actually working? All right. No, it didn't. Yep, yep, that auto color thing, right? I tell you what, I am the ADP Antichrist today. Let me just restart this here. But again, this is kind of like the last Hail Mary on this one, right? If for some reason you can't mount what's going on in VirtualBox because it's not recognizing one thing or another, all right, this is where becoming a Linux system administration becomes a big pain in the butt. It's supposed to work. Someone sort of shows you that it works, but then all of a sudden it's not working for anybody else. So you know it can work. You've seen it done, and, but you guys can't do it for whatever reason, right? for whatever reason. So it's time to debug. So let's spend the rest of the class debugging this thing and seeing what's going on. But the last Hail Mary on this one is this. Could you set up a local web server on your Windows box and do W get there? Yes, there's all sorts of different ways of doing it. So creatively solving problems, but you can always set up an FTP server. There's a lot of things you can do here to kind of solve the problem. If that mounting and that shared directory is not working in VirtualBox, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot here and see if I can do it with VirtualBox too. All right.